Hello everyone, this is the second video of this first module where we're exploring the principles of economics. In the last video, we talked about the first principle, the idea that people face trade-offs and societies face trade-offs. In this video, we're going to talk or discuss the concept of opportunity cost. And this is the idea that the real cost of something is what you gave up to do it. This is one of the most fundamental concepts in economics. So let's take a look. In that last video, we talked about how societies have uh, limited resources, which they use to accomplish uh, their unlimited goals or to satisfy their unlimited wants, which meant they had to make trade-offs between which of these goals or which of these wants they want to satisfy. More personally, we, we kind of talked about how as individuals, we also face trade-offs with our what to do with our time during the day or what to do with our limited budget. The fact that we have to make choices between about which of these wants we want to satisfy implies that there's cost to everything. Just like that classic economics saying that there's no such thing as a free lunch. We should start thinking about the cost of doing something is what you give up in order to do that thing. More formally, the definition of opportunity cost is the cost of choosing one, any one alternative is the value of the next best alternative that is given up. So let's apply this principle of opportunity cost to the example we explored in our last video. So in our last video, we talked about the situation where we had $150 uh, flex dollars to spend in a semester. And there were two goods where we, which we could spend our money on. We could get a pita order for $10 or a coffee order for $5. And we talked about applying that first principle, this idea of people facing trade-offs because they had limited resources. So they had a limited budget. If we wanted more and more pitas, we have to give up some coffee orders to get more and more pitas. If we want more and more coffee, we have to give up, give up some pitas to get more coffee. But let's think about applying this principle, this, uh, this uh, principle of opportunity cost, this concept of opportunity cost to this exact same uh, example. So instead of thinking about each pita order costing $10, we can think of what we're giving up to get that pita order. Well, if each pita order is costing us $10, we're giving up two coffee orders to get that pita order. So the opportunity cost of a pita order is two coffees. Alternatively, or conversely, the opportunity cost of a coffee order is half a pita order. In that last video, we graphically represented all the possible combinations of pitas and coffees through our budget line. So let's take a look. So in that last video, we drew out our budget line. We discussed how we came up with this blue budget line, showing all the possible combinations of coffees and pitas that we could afford with our $150 budget. Now we can start thinking about our principle of opportunity cost with the, this exact same graph. And this is going to come through the slope and this negative slope of this blue budget line here. So in our last video, we talked about how we could draw out our budget line to show all the different combinations of pitas and coffee we could afford if we spent our entire $150 flex budget. So we could afford anything along this blue line here. Anything outside of this blue line, for instance, 30, 25, or whatever that black point is there, is unaffordable. And anything inside the line is affordable, but we're not spending our entire budget, so it might not be ideal, especially if Queens is taking back any money that you don't spend. We talked about this idea of facing trade-offs, that if we were uh, spending our entire budget our $150 budget, which is the resource that we have available. If we were spending it all and we wanted more coffee orders, we had to give up some pitas to get that coffee order. Now we can start to apply this principle of opportunity cost to this example. And we can see opportunity cost at play here through this negative slope of the budget line. So remember, the slope of, the, of this line is the rise over the run. So the slope equals the rise over the run. And here, the rise, it goes down uh, by 15, minus 15. I'm looking at the rise over the run, the slope between these two uh, intercepts. 
So it goes down 15 and it, the run is 30. So negative 15 over 30 is negative one half. This slope is exactly that opportunity cost that we were just discussing. The slope of this budget line is the opportunity cost of a coffee order. We're giving up half a pita order for each coffee order. So the slope here equals the opportunity cost of a coffee order. Conversely, the inverse of the slope is going to be the opportunity cost of a pita order. So 1 over the slope equals the opportunity cost of a pita order. So in this example, this concept of opportunity cost is coming through the slope of this budget line. And so remember, so instead of thinking about the cost of a pita order being $10 and the co cost of a coffee order being 5 we can think instead about the cost, the opportunity cost of a coffee order is half of a pita order. And the opportunity cost of a pita order is two uh, coffee orders. So this was just a really brief introduction to this concept of opportunity cost. And we're going to use uh, some live sessions this week to go over some more examples and applications of this uh, really important concept. Opportunity cost is going to be an essential part of the next module, which is gains from trade. So it's really important that you kind of have a decent understanding of what opportunity cost is. But in general, I want you to start thinking about the opportunity cost of your decisions. Start to realize that there's a cost to every decision. The cost isn't about you know, the dollar sign on the or the price tag. It's about what you could have done instead. So the opportunity cost of spending another hour uh, studying at night is what you could have done instead. For some of you, that might your next best alternative might be another hour of sleep. Or maybe it's chatting with your friends or family. Or maybe it's um, watching an hour show on Netflix or something. But you'll start to realize that there's opportunity costs in every decision you make.